What if I told you you can't think your way out of grief, you have to act your way through it? Because when someone you love dies, your brain goes through absolute chaos. So that pain that you feel, it's not just emotional, it's neurological. By the way, I'm Phil and I create content for people who've experienced loss. So if you're grieving or love someone who is, hit that follow button. There's actually a part of your brain that lights up like a wildfire during grief. It's called the anterior mid cingulate cortex or AMCC for short, because that's a mouthful. And this is the part of the brain that's responsible for pushing through emotional resistance, for resilience, and for taking action on things, especially when you don't want to. And studies have shown that the AMCC actually grows when you do hard things, not when you avoid, not when you numb, and not when you wait till you feel ready. So every time you face the memory, every time you talk about the pain, every time you listen to that song, every time you just decide to get out of bed, even when you don't feel like it, that part of your brain gets a little bit stronger. And these acts of bravery, even the small ones, they literally rewire your brain. So doing the things you don't want to do, all the stuff you're resisting is precisely the battleground that grows this part of your brain. And look, I get it. You're probably thinking, yeah, but you don't know my story. You don't know what I've been through. And you know what? You're right. I don't. But I know when my son died, I didn't want to leave the house. I didn't want to move. I didn't want to talk. I didn't want to survive. But I made myself do hard things. And some days that was just getting out of bed or taking a shower. And other days it was screaming into a pillow but eventually my brain began to catch up to what my spirit already knew to be true, which was I was never going to be the same again, but I could still grow. So if grief is rewiring your brain right now, give it something to build with. One step, one breath, one hard thing at a time, because healing's not going to come from remaining comfortable. It comes from choosing discomfort on purpose. And this isn't just mindset fluff. This is neuroscience. So get off the couch, go for a walk, make that call. Not because this makes sense, but because doing hard things, even when you don't want to, causes your brain to grow. And listen, the fact is your grief isn't going anywhere. And the only choice you really have is do you want to be the driver or ride shotgun. So if that hit home for you, let me know in the comments and follow me for more ways to grow through grief, not just survive it.